Good morning students. Today we are going to start with decimal form of rational numbers. There are few rules to be followed. When a decimal fraction is multiplied by 10, 100, 1000, the decimal point is shifted to the right. For example here 0 0.357 into 10. So we got 1 0 over here. So the point is shifted from 3 here. So you can see the answer coming up 3.3. In the second one, 0 0.357 into 100. There are two zeros. So it's been shifted two points from here. You can see that. That is the answer coming up to 35.7. In the same way, 0 0.357 is multiplied by 1000. How many zeros are there? Three. So we are taking this point from here till here. See, here the answer coming is 357. The second rule, when a decimal fraction is divided by 10, 100 and 1000, the decimal point is shifted to the left. In multiply, it was into the right and in division to the left. You will see some example, 0 0.357 divided by 10, you can see that it's moved to the left, one more zero has been included over here. Second one, 0 0.357 divided by 100. So two zeros coming before three. So it's moving towards the left. You can see that. Again in third one, 0 0.357 divided by 1000. So, so three zeros coming up. One, two, three, and then 357. Now we are going to learn, write the rational number 13 upon 8 in decimal format. So Divide 13 by 8. So here 8 ones are 8. It comes up to 5. You put this 0. 6 are 48. Coming to 20. Again 0 coming up. 8 twos are. 16, 4, one more 0, 5 is 40, 0. Answer is 13 upon 8 is equal to 1.625. In the second example, we can see 11 upon 3. Here we can you can see the division format has been done over here. 3 divided by 11, 11 minus 9, 3 times under. You can see one thing common over here 20 minus 18, 20 minus 18, 20 minus 18. You can see the same thing repeating again and again. And even you get the answer 3.666. Your line upon 3 is equal to 3.666. But you are writing as 3.6 in a dot over here. To express this fact, a dot is placed over the repeating digit and what is it known as this is known as non terminating repeating decimal the third example 15 upon 11 here you can see the division format here one thing is common you can see that 1.3636 3636 has been repeating over here so we can write the answer is 15 upon 11 as 1.3636 in a shorter format how it is written 15 upon 11 is equal to 1.36 and a bar been drawn on above the number 36. This type of decimal form is called recurring decimal form. Ration numbers have either a terminating or a non-terminating recurring decimal form. Now we are going to solve the practice set 24. Write the following ration numbers in decimal form. The first sum 13 upon 4. So 4, 13. How many times 4? Pisa 12 minus 0 1 decimal 10 so 4 2 za 8 again 2 0 2 4 5 za 20, 0. So 
the answer is 13 upon 4 is equal to 3.25 second sum minus 7 upon 8 your 7 is a smaller one so what we to put 0 to 7 point 0 8 the 64 that comes up to 6 again one more 0 8 7 the 56 minus 4 again 0 40 8 5 40 so minus 7 upon 8 is equal to minus 0 0.875 third sum 7 3 upon 5 here first we will solve this 3 upon 5 5 and 3 here 3 is a smaller one so for the decimal point we get the 0 and 30 0 has been carried forward down 5 6 are 30 so the answer comes up to 3 upon 5 is equal to 0 0.6 now while writing 7 3 upon 5 we will add 7 with 0 0.6 that comes up to 7.6 in the fifth sum 22 upon 7 here the division has been done away we can check the 7 3 is 21 what comes up 10 then again minus 7 30 28 this full working has been done over here here the number comes up 3.142857 if you see the remainder over here it's again coming like the first one 10 so it is repeating over here so the answer will be 3.142857 and we have to draw a bar on it